this is Dave White sitting in for Tom O'Brien. Normally on Friday we talk technology, and uh, we're doing that today. So I'll be sitting in for Tom for the next hour, and uh, we'll have a good day. The S&P closed up 4.48 points at 1807.24. Uh, we had about 2.6 billion shares on the consolidated New York Stock Exchange tape. Uh, normally a big day. Uh, would probably be three and a half uh, to four billion shares, uh, 2.6 billion, pretty light volume as we go into a long weekend. Of course, the market's open just a half a day on Friday, uh, and uh, we'll get probably a little reaction to uh, Black Friday numbers. Of course, uh, most of the uh, uh, big box retailers uh, open uh, probably about 6 p.m. on Thursday night. So we're going to get a little taste. Of course, Cyber Monday, uh, most people start uh, ordering through Amazon uh, and uh, eBay and a lot of those other ones on Monday. So we're going to probably see a lot of volatility uh, surrounding these retailers. Uh, also, uh, people with really hot uh, products uh, for Christmas, uh, we're probably going to get a read on how well sales are going for them. Uh, throughout the show, we're going to be uh, looking at uh, some of the best websites for you uh, to get great deals. And uh, we'll be telling you about a few of the great deals. Uh, we've got a special uh, show that should be already up on TFNN. If not, it'll be up uh, after the uh, uh, close today. Uh, and uh, that is talking just about what are the hottest uh, products for um, Christmas. And uh, yeah, you can uh, check that out. Uh, you'll be able to uh, find that on uh, TFNN and the uh, Tiger TV website, uh, even though we're closed on Friday. Again, we'll be back Monday morning, and uh, everybody will be back and rested uh, and ready to go. Of course, uh, a lot of people looking at uh, gold here at TFNN. Uh, gold closed down uh, about three and a half uh, bucks at uh, 1238. Uh, market uh, had a chance to uh, try to run 10, 12 bucks up in the morning, uh, rolled over, faded uh, into uh, the close. Kind of interesting that, uh, of course, we're going to be trading just that half day in the morning. I suspect probably going to see just a little bit of gold buying, uh, and then we're going to come back Monday where I expect gold to continue to start uh, rolling back down uh, to that 1,200 number. At that point, we're going to start looking at what's happening. Uh, if you are a subscriber to the Art of Timing of the Trade Charts, you've probably seen several uh, Gartley 222 patterns developing. Um, probably going to look at those uh, developing into Gartley uh, butterflies. Uh, and uh, so that's uh, going to be kind of interesting. So we're already seeing some of those patterns set up. Uh, but uh, looking down about uh, 40 bucks, I'd really like to see uh, gold really just washed out. Maybe one day where it's down 50 or 75 bucks, uh, closing back uh, maybe near uh, unchanged on the day to really show us uh, that we found a, a low in gold. One nice thing about trading commodities is uh, they go to generally the moon in price and eventually come back down uh, to under the price of production for a little while. And the uh, best price, uh, best cure for a low price is a low price. Uh, some of those mines will start to close and we'll start seeing gold prices move back up. So uh, we're probably getting fairly close to the co cost of production on a lot of those uh, gold miners. Uh, and we'll see uh, them probably pull back and then uh, gold start to move back up. Of course, uh, uh, normally the best time to buy gold is when, uh, the, as they said, the blood is running in the streets. And just haven't had enough people out there really uh, screaming about it so far. Uh, silver, you know, off 20 cents, not a big deal out here. Uh, probably uh, the most interesting thing is crude down uh, 131. Uh, also noticing just how fast gasoline prices are rising at the pump uh, as uh, crude continues to fall this weekend. Uh, Going to be very interesting to see gasoline prices uh, Monday and Tuesday after the travel weekend to see uh, how that actually shakes out. 
Uh, as uh, far as uh, the other indicators out here, uh, the NASDAQ finally closed above uh, uh, our, uh, and decidedly above the 4,000 mark at uh, 4,044. It was up 27 points. Uh, and of course, uh, when we look at uh, big numbers out here, uh, as the, the uh, uh, some of these others, hey, like, give me just a second here. I'm trying to find out uh, where did that go? Hmm. It's disappeared off my radar here. I was looking for the uh, Dow. Eh, we'll find it in a minute. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. Uh, other stocks of interest moving very strongly today. Uh, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, uh, the perennial high short interest rate. I think this thing's always had at least 30% short interest since it blew up uh, a year ago. Uh, this is up uh, $3.39 today. Uh, Apple was uh, up about twelve dollars fifty eight cents had a nice run out there basing out around five twenty up to uh, five forty five uh, I think uh, some of the things we 're going to talk about uh, will show why uh, Apple has creeped up here, but I suspect part of it has been uh, many people being short Apple uh, going into a long weekend fading out. Uh, it is up on what uh, can be considered fairly light volume of eleven and a half million shares. Crocs uh, looking for what they call strategic um, initiatives, uh, basically trying to find a buyer. Uh, a little bit of rattling out there today. It was up to, to a high of $14.14, .14, closed at $13.84, up $0.31 cents or 2%. Uh, eBay up about 1%, again, uh, back to the theme of looking at these retailers. Uh, Hewlett Packard had earnings out last night, uh, and uh, not as bad as most thought up $2.28 today at $27.37. Uh, one of the few things that they are saying out here that was interesting is PC sales were up for the quarter. Uh, server sales were up for the quarter, and uh, maybe they've uh, bottomed, and I think a lot of people uh, probably covering some of their shorts, uh, looking at uh, 46 million shares on Hewlett Packard today. Microsoft uh, up just a quarter. Of course, uh, this is going to be one that we're really going to be watching uh, numbers coming out from Friday and Monday for just how many Xbox Ones that they're selling. Of course, we've seen uh, these uh, uh, memory chip manufacturers uh, have been in fuego. And uh, not uh, uh, to miss it, uh, we've seen uh, uh, Micron close up 86 cents or about 4% at 21.17. Of course, we've had some of the uh, big guys on Wall Street uh, pushing it the last few days. I suspect that we're seeing a lot of these shorts uh, exit stage left into light volume, 37.5 million shares on Micron today. Netflix is another one up uh, $7.29. If you followed us on TFNN, uh, you might know that uh, I had a pattern on Netflix uh, that is called the three, uh, well, not three drives to the top, three gaps play, and that is when you get three major gaps. I think the uh, if you Google uh, three gap play TFNN, should Paul, uh, pop up a PDF uh, where I go through this. Anyway, we had it uh, uh, shorted up, uh, what, uh, 388, and went down to 325 in one day, nice play. Now you're waiting for it to come back and fill a, a great portion of uh, that uh, gap down, and uh, we're seeing that up uh, 729, uh, pretty much getting there. you got to have to be watching it very closely and the volume closely on Netflix in the next few days. SanDisk, another one of the uh, big memory manufacturers, uh, SNDK, uh, up 86 cents, uh, which is about 1.2%. So uh, uh, that's pretty much uh, what was moving and shaking in the markets today. Uh, we're going to get into technology uh, right away out here, but uh, uh, just before we go to the breakout here, I uh, wanted to remind you uh, that uh, the president had come out and issued a pardon today. Yes, he was out issuing a pardon for that Chris, or for that turkey. Uh, originally, uh, it uh, the first pardon turkey uh, happened in 1863 when the 11-year-old son of uh, Mr. Lincoln, uh, Tad, begged his father to pardon, uh, pardon the turkey. Uh, he had... Uh, developed a friendship with it. It actually ran around the White House a great deal. Tad said the turkey had every right to live, according to the White House. After the Lincolns got their live Christmas turkey, Tad adopted it as a pet and named him Jack. He taught the bird to follow him around the White House grounds and through the White House, which was uh, not very pleasing to his mother. 
But uh, that's how the uh, turkey rescue pardons started, moved from Christmas to Thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, we hope you all have a great time. We're going to be back in just a few minutes. We're going to go through some of the things that uh, people are going to buy and uh, some of the great deals that are rolling out uh, when we come back on the other side.